I remember home, or at least I can imagine it. After 60 years, I still can't imagine them leaving. But they did, when the trees never bloomed that spring. My brother tells me of stories in my head, protecting me from the truth of what happened. He says, niggas don't get fairy tales. But I had mine all along. This is what happened when the trees forgot to bloom. I remember home, a little cottage in Kingston Gardens. Mommy and Daddy said it was our sanctuary from the outside world. A world ending. A world outside unfit for us. Away from where it was safe. And we learned to do many things in isolation. For Mommy taught us to sew our own toys. To play her favorite Nat King Cole records on the piano. And to read. Every night she would tell us stories of how little black boys were once birds before they were born and how sometimes black boys forgot they no longer had wings and fly off during the night. She said like birds, black boys were hunted, which gave her reasons to bar all the house windows and lock the doors every night before she went to bed. Daddy hated them stories. He said it would make us into fairies and not the kind from Mama's books. He said boys were to be brave and soon they would take his place as men of the house. But Mommy said there were two types of fairies, the good ones made from laughter (laughs) and those made from secrets. In our family, we had secrets. Two boys came to live with us who had lost their parents to the disappearances. One of those boys became my best friend. Mommy even said we shared a shadow because we were so close. Me and him, him and I. That spring I taught him to read and the fairy tales my mama once read to me of boys who could fly and never grow up or never left. But soon mommy and daddy were gone. We didn't cry. We were brave. We were men. We didn't need our parents or bars on the windows, locks on the doors, or even fairy tales for that matter. That night, the stars shined brighter through the open windows. We celebrated our gift of manhood. We feasted. We drank like men, but at a price. Like men, we now had our secrets. Secrets that began to whisper from our father's boiling room. My brother doesn't usually talk about what he saw that night. He says he can't remember, but I can only imagine. hear him while he slept. There was a man in our basement who was trying to take us. That's what he said. To fly away with him, like the boys in her books. Eventually we began to hear him. And to see the man with wings, we had to leave. So we grew our wings back. Some kind of method. 
For years, we ran from our secrets, deep into the forest, so we could never be found. We belonged to the trees, for they became our parents. They would never leave us. So we got lost, no longer recognizing the little men we once were. Running had made us bigger and stronger than we ever could imagine. We became fairies. silence to the breeze. Love is the essence of life itself. It is the air I need to breathe. Love is never apologizing. Love is never wanting. Love is walking in your truth. The stories we shared and the secrets we forgot sustains them so they could see another spring. We were black boys who once birds with magic of trees and the faith to bloom again. How do I see myself? Many years later, talking to the child that was, seeing who I was, seeing who I could be, telling that child, never grow up, never fear. I think back to my childhood, for I was a little black boy who embraced all of I could be, all of the essence of me, 
it is because those who brought over their history, not caring what those who tried to instill fear and anger and hate in them, but they rose to create generations of those who carry their stories. Now, baby boy, remember timelines are lies. Our lives are no longer linear, but collages of memories and the stories we are told. We had to fill in the ugly holes and make them beautiful again. We are not responsible for our trauma, but we're responsible for our healing. Our lives are most true when we create them. For one man's ending is another's beginning. I still can remember the little boys we once were. But like many grown-ups, my brother began to forget. After our fairy tales, the world started again, and we became adults. Fifty-six years later, my best friend would pass on. A year later, his brother, leaving me the only one who remembered our story. Sometimes at night, my brother begins to hear the whispers again, and the fear sinks in. That's when I would tell him our story of the little black boys who defeated evil and brought back the trees. I remember at home, at least I can imagine it. That is what happened that spring when the trees forgot to bloom. 